Goodbye, room. Goodbye, creepy wall. <laughs> Ryan's looking for his charger. Found it. Found it. And then we're gonna go get some Korean food. Yum. And then Ikea. And then probably just a lazy day, so. Try to keep up with us. Yeah, try to keep up. Was it Ryan? Hello. We just got we got home a while ago. I finished making this Rascog cart for our bathroom. So I'm gonna put like a basket up here, um, like towels on the bottom, and then probably like baskets of bath bombs and stuff to use in our new bathtub or like soaps and things like that. And then, oh, this thing is going to be, I'm going to get some fake flowers or something like that to put in there. And then, I am doing a DIY project. I'm making, let's see, I'm using, that's the lid over there. I wrapped this glass jar, it's a really big glass jar that I'm going to put detergent in. And so, I used my silhouette and cut out the letters for soap. I'm using this Valspar Frosted Etched Glass Effects so to make the letters stand out rather than using a color. So I'll keep you updated. Welcome to Dog Mageddon. There's number one, next to number two, and then number three got locked outside. Oh, hey Gary. Look, show them our new. We got this print from IKEA. I love it. I'm gonna paint some um, other fruits on some canvases similar to that, and put them on the other side. Yeah, it looks good. I like it. So this is uh, the coolest thing that we've ever made. Lindsay's ever made. No, not really. She makes a lot of cool things, but we're gonna put our soap detergent in there. So but detergent was too long and hard to spell, so we just want soap. <laughs> well, then it, it would just be it's not too long and hard to spell. <laughs> By the way, this will be at one point in time finished. It's just not. So then, what you do is you stand here and you fill. <laughs> scoop by scoop. Scoop by scoop. You can't just pour it. Do that, but I'm not sure. Here, you're gonna need some backup. <laughs> yeah. I got soap in my mouth. <laughs> Let's just do it this way. There was a large dust cloud of soap. Well, look at how much we got in there. So this is an IKEA size. It's Obviously, in case you guys were wondering, we use Tide Original. It works great. Well, it works better in these kinds of. We found that it does, motors. at least ours, after we got the clean, we ran like a vinegar and baking soda mm -hmm. through it and now ever since then and using this detergent, it doesn't get that nasty smell it's of just like stale water, moldy water, crusty water. Mm -hmm. Look, so now we know this fits a one Ikea size box. Hmm? Yeah. Nice. Tuck that in. Score, dude. Put that on top. And it says right there. Just in case you were a guest doing laundry and didn't know, there soap. was the soap. See, and then we don't have to have this box on top. Instead, you see this. Cool. Right. Give yourself a thumbs up. Good job. <laughs> have we showed you guys the tile lately? My shelf isn't done because I had this guy make these bull noses and they look terrible. But everything else is pretty kosher, right babe? Yeah. Next step, we gotta put these things up. We can do that right now if you want. What are those? The towel hook, and then the toilet paper, and then the towel. Oh yeah. All right, let me get my, I'm going to get my tools. All right, into the jungle we go. 
Oh, this child garage is such a mess. From all of our renovation projects for the last six months. Kitchen, bathroom, kitchen, bathroom, kitchen, bathroom. It's all piled up in there. What are you doing? Alright, well, we're going to projects mode.